11 months ago, twins were born in Texas. That, of course, is not so unusual. What is unusual is that they have two different fathers. How did it happen? NBC's Janet Shamley and talked exclusively with their mother. Almost a year old, twins Jordan and Justin have a lot in common. Both of them have similar appetites. They both like to play with their older brother. They very, they like to play with each other. But what they don't share, says their mom, Mia Washington, is the same father. Jordan's dad is James, my fiance, and Justin's dad is somebody else that I've met. That's right, the boys, born seven minutes apart last June, have different biological fathers. I was hurt, tore apart. Didn't know what the next move was gonna be. <laughs> James Harrison, who thought he was dead to both, says he became suspicious because the twins don't look like each other. The couple brought the boys to this Dallas lab for testing. They came in and the ch children looked quite a bit different, absolutely nothing alike actually. And um, he wanted to test Justin, and that's the first child that we tested. That's the child that he didn't believe was his. Thibodeau says the results of DNA tests confirmed it. Justin was not Harrison's biological child, but Jordan was. So while the boys are twins, they are only half-brothers. It's pretty rare. When it, I don't think I'll ever get to see it again, hands-on anyway. I don't think I'll ever touch another case like this. Experts say the chances of this double conception are truly one in a million. So rare, there's only a handful of cases documented worldwide. Mia says she admitted to James what was now clear to everyone. She had had a brief relationship with another man within days of when the boys were conceived. James says regardless of test results, he's daddy to both. I raised him from a baby all the way to now, which is not long, but the little time that I have, he knows me as his father and I know him as my son, and that's the way it's going to be. Mia says regardless of what others say, she'll never call her boys a mistake. I'm happy about them. I take care of my boys. I love my boys just the same as if they were all by the same person. The couple now engaged say they will tell the twins the truth when they're old enough to understand. Another surprise will come sooner. Mia and James are expecting again. They're going to have a baby sister. A girl due in August. For today, Janet Shamley and NBC News, Dallas. Dr. Hilda Hutchison is a clinical professor of obstetrics and gynecology at Columbia University. Dr. Hutchison, good morning to you. Good morning. Quite a story here. How does this happen biologically? Can you explain it? Well, what usually happens is every month a woman's ovary releases one egg. Right. And that egg can then be, be um, fertilized by one sperm. But in some women, occasionally, they will release more than one egg, as in this particular case. And each egg can be fertilized by a different sperm. But does that mean that, that both were fertilized on the same day? No. Uh, what's so interesting is that a sperm can last for up to five days. So a woman can have sex with one man on one day, and then several days later have sex with another man, and those sperm are still alive in her reproductive tract. So they just kind of hang out there waiting for the egg to be released. See, we use the term twins, but I always thought twins referred to two children that were born from the same mother and father, not one mom and two different Oh, not necessarily. It, one mother, of course, releases more than one egg, or she has one egg that then splits after it's fertilized. So we know who the mother is, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the same father. Will they have the same kind of bonding, these two boys, that they would have if they were fraternal twins with the same dad? Oh, absolutely, because they're growing in the same environment over nine months or eight month period of time. And they're getting to know each other and they're playing with each other, so the bonding will be the same. How rare is it? We, we use the statistic there, one in a million chance. Yeah, I think it really is rare, and many people say one in a million, and there's some studies that say that between one to two percent of all fraternal or non-identical twins actually have different dads. Really? One to two percent. Well, yes. I got to give James, uh, you know, a lot of credit here because he certainly has stepped up to the plate and said, I'm going to take care of both these kids. So I think it's remarkable and wonderful that he is going to step in and be dad to both children. All right, doctor. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank you.